All right, welcome to the 2000s Tribute Build Vlog 2. So, we have the Gigabyte Aorus 3060 Elite installed. I really like that it uses an 8-pin and a 6-pin rather than those stupid 12-pin. Um, did not think it was going to fit in here, but it does. Uh, unfortunately, it does preclude using the hard drive bay. Thankfully, this does have some extra bays up here. I really only wanted this 4 terabyte spinner here. That's for games that I want to keep, but don't necessarily want to play daily. So, um, the water cooler's back in. It's shoved up there temporarily, exhausting out the side. Um... The air cooler will be here Monday. As to why I haven't done a whole lot of cable management yet, the honest truth is the air cooler will require a complete motherboard out. Um, and I didn't really see a whole lot of point in doing cable management, especially since a lot of like this stuff in here will be gone because uh, all that's for like the fan controller and the pump controller for the um, AIO loop. Um... But yeah, it's it's nearly done. So I'm very excited. Uh, I did find one other little thing. The, if you look back here, um, this GPU will have to be removed before the motherboard side panel on the other side can be folded down because this will block it. Um, given the size of this GPU, I don't know that I'm going to I don't know how long I'm going to keep this case as my primary build, but uh, at least for the immediate future, this is going to be my primary build. I just, I love the aesthetics. I love the cold cathodes. I gotta say, I, I love cold cathodes so much, I'm probably going to move these over to my next build, whatever that is. Um, they're just so much brighter, and I like the color profile more than uh, RGB. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. There will probably be a vlog three on Monday sometime. We're going to get the uh, Zalman air cooler in and do some final cable management. Thanks for watching.